Muy buenas gente, ¿qué tal estáis? Bienvenidos de vuelta al canal, bienvenidos de vuelta a Vampire Bueno, eh... Llevamos ya 30 horitas, eh, calculado más o menos, 30 o 31, tío Pues la primera partida fueron 38, eh O sea que no tiene que quedar mucho... mucho juego Sé que son 6 capítulos, pues lo, lo miré en la guía y tal Y el epílogo ese, que hay un epílogo Pero claro, ahora los capítulos irán todos a saco, ya, porque vamos a ver No nos quedan prácticamente personajes con los que interactuar me quedan unos cuantos aquí en el West End y poco más. ¿Dónde estoy? ¿Qué hago en Whitechapel? ¿Por qué estoy en Whitechapel? Eh... Vale, esta señora. Claro, porque. Hay un evento. Ah, descuartizamos a toda la gente de aquí, tío. Evento. Sí, pero es que. Fuimos y estaba ahí, vivita y coleando Y no, ni se convirtió, ni nada Hombre, no sé si al salir del juego Y entrar Pues no sé si la cosa cambiará o qué Puedo acercar un momento No me cuesta nada Estaba por aquí, ya está Pero ya os digo, ¿no? Es que no puedes mmm, cautivarlas ni nada. No, no puedes hacer nada con ella. El dispensario de Dorothy. Dice que aquí hay un evento. Pero aquí de evento no hay. Está aquí parada, mírala. Que no sabe ni qué hacer. Se ha quedado pillada. O sea, se quedó pilladísima, gente Se quedó tan pillada De la destrucción que hemos hecho aquí en su barrio Que nos sigue vendiendo cositas y todo Pues nada, tenemos, estamos en la misión Selección antinatural Habla con los Recrif sobre Doris Fletcher Vale Vamos a ver Ah, tío, se me pincha. A ver por dónde podemos pasar bien. Por aquí había un atajo, sí. Por aquí. Por aquí no. Exactamente por aquí No Por aquí tal vez Ah, vale Antes de ir por allí, gente a ver. Hostia, que susto me has dado, cabrón. A ver, un segundo. Creo que esta es, esta es la zona que a mí me falta Por mirar Bueno, me faltan personajes A los que hablarle Vale Bueno, vamos a hablar con Rod Gray, eh, Con Redgrave Ahora por ahí Pumping. A 
Oye ¿Cómo está la situación por aquí? A ver Hemos eliminado Bueno, Emelín vale. Bueno, yo no Se murió Bueno, a ver, Every, Lo siento mucho, pero ya no tienen nada que hacer aquí en este mundo Ya hemos resuelto las misiones De nuestro padre y todo el rollo Así que, sintiéndolo mucho Contrato cancelado Ya estaría Hijo sanguinario eh, ¿Tengo alguna llave? A ver, espérate No sé No sé si había alguna puerta que no podía abrir A ver, echamos un vistazo rápido Puede ser que haya una puerta, ¿no? Bueno, esta está abierta. El despacho este. Ah, sí, esta la conseguí yo la llave. Lo recuerdo. Y esta. Esta está cerrada. Esta es por donde hemos entrado. Esta está cerrada, pero hemos entrado por el balcón. A ver. Aquí hay una caja fuerte, tú. Hostia, pues sigue cerrado. ¿Y cómo cojones consigo una llave de esa caja fuerte? Mierda, ahora ya me lo he cargado. Pero es un poco extraño, ¿no? Que no tengamos la llave de esa caja fuerte. Un poco extrañito. Ayer comprobé a ver qué tal iban las grabaciones a 1080, 50 en Twitch. El streaming, mejor dicho. Ya sabes que yo estoy grabando a 1440, 60. Y bien, bien, bien. No se pixela tanto como a 60 frames. O sea que bien. Hay que ir haciendo experimentos, gente. Estamos aquí al lado. Pero por dónde se entra. Esto es la trata trasera, ¿no? Bueno, también me vale. También nos vale. También nos vale. been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Astrolog. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm Hola, Cereza, buenos días. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Por eso es vampirillos. Elizabeth Ashbury. Me carga alguien. Only you can make me smile. Me carga mi mayordomo ahora. Vale. Welcome back the Ascalon Club, Lance Barrow. Please tell us the good news. Ese BRP, ¿cómo estás, tío? Buenos días. ¿Estás intentando ir de santo? No, no, no. Estamos de modo sanguinario. Si me carga ya me da media ciudad. Tan solo soy un médico. Aún tengo algunas preguntas. He hecho todo lo que estaba en mi mano. 
No, a darse la pelota a este. The important thing is we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. <coughs> recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ. Te te recuerdo a que no te invite al pueblo. ¿Qué pasa a arrasar con todos? Eh, como desee, no puedo, no estoy seguro. Como desee. As you wish. Si quiere que lo convertamos, lo convertimos. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Tengo preguntas. Before I go, all right, I'm listening. ¿Por qué él? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die, and he just may be the most influential man in England, after me, of course. Me eligió él. Did he? Choose me. No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Sabe que iré a por él. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Doctor Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. Invito a Lady Ashbury. You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance. Then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Segundo. Would you like me to proceed? <coughs> Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. Solo tengo que darle mi sangre. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. ¿Existe algún riesgo? Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Vale, voy a estar ¿Qué pasa, tronco? I personally went patrolling last night in the West End, and I spotted at least two foreign Good evening, Doctor Reed. Have a drink and enjoy this night, for it could be our last. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Sería un recurso muy útil. No lo haré. Me gustaría saber qué opina usted. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is. Why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Consejos sobre el asunto Dawson. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. 
Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. So I convertir a Dawson in an Econ. What would happen if I made Dawson an Econ like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Mm, sobre Lord Redgrave? Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. ¿Cómo puedes estar tan segura? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. ¿A qué sea el tono vindicativo? Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? Mm. He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Vale, claro que sí. Claro que sí, guapi. Eh, llega a la entrada de la iglesia del temple. Vale, es que ahí creo, ahí, ahí creo que hay más personajes, tío. Por cierto, me he pillado unos auriculares nuevos. Me han costado 15 pavos. De estos, de, de oído, intraorales. Unos ludos, ludos ultra. Son parecidos a unos que tenía yo, que son de estos que van imantados. Que se, la otra parte se imanta. Y que tiene la, las gomitas estas. Esto, ¿vale? De silicona, de, de esto de viscolástico. ¿Vale? Para hacer el efecto tapón. Ya, a mí me gustaron los que tenía, lo que pasa es que se terminó reventado, se te, terminaron reventados. Y los tengo aún, eh. Aún, aún, aún no suenan. Lo que pasa es que los tengo reventados. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sign him. Hmm. He mirado en la otra partida el nivel que tenía por aquí, gente. ¿Sabéis qué nivel tenía? 24 creo que tenía. <ríe> ¡Qué barbaridad, eh! 24, tío, el nivel, loco. ¿Esto qué hacen aquí, en la calle? Molestando. Hola, señor. Madre mía, zarpazo. Hostia, es verdad que lo había mejorado. Uh, uh. Quita, quita, mil, mil puntos de vida. Madre mía. Eh, y van bien porque los que van con día de día más dan mucha calor y dolor de cabeza. Exactamente. Estos. Estos son buenos que me los compré. Me costaron rebajas 50 pavos o así, pero valen 80 o 100 pavos. Es unos, unos, unos somen. ¿Vale? Y estos son buenísimos. Que son los que uso en invierno ahora. Pero claro, ahora ya con este calor empiezas a sudar. A, a mí yo que tengo dolores de cabeza y todo, y me dice, uff, madre mía, no puedo con ellos. No podía, tío. No podía más. Por eso estoy usando ya desde hace poco de estos. Por eso me he pedido unos que en Amazon, 15 pavos, no tienen muy buenas críticas. Y son muy parecidos a la... No, no es la misma marca que los que yo tenía, 
Los que yo tenía eran unos crack Cream, cream, creo que eran unos cream o algo así Eran muy buenos ¿eh? Y suenan bastante bien, tienen graves buenos, agudos buenos Se oyen muy bien Y nada que envidiar, eh, a unos normales, tío Os lo digo en serio, eh, si no quieres pasar calor Si no quieres pasar calor No hace falta Que tengáis unos auriculares gaming profesionales A lo mejor es que no podía pasar antes por aquí Puede ser ¿Eh? No sé La gripe, no sé qué Bueno, todos los carteles Va, Ah, mira, estamos justo Detrás del Centro comercial Donde hicimos las misiones de Del texto en braille y todo eso Iglesia del templo hay que recuerdo que habían dos o tres personajes, creo. Hay una tienda también. Mira, musiquita. Hostia. Por cierto, hoy sale. Ha salido ya. O ayer, o hoy. O bueno, ayer estoy viendo yo a Richard Betacode. El que lo tenía en primicia. Un. Un juego que se llama. El Vampire de Masquerade El Swan Song Que es del estilo Es de los creadores de, de The Council Esa aventura así RPG narrativa ¿no? A mí me gustó mucho el The Council De investigar y tal Pero aquí eres en, manejas a tres vampiros Centenarios Tienes que hacer también investigación y esas cosas Tiene buena pinta lo que pasa es que no sé lo que vale ¿Qué es esto? Hay placas de presión ¿Y este? ¿Quién es este, tío? Crimen del conocimiento perdido Los vampiros son peligrosos, letales, brutales a veces Esto es un hecho innegable Y eso es precisamente por lo que debemos comprender Lo que son y a veces quiénes son Para poder alcanzar una mejor comprensión mutua ¿Recordáis la entrevista con Titus Flavius Josephus? Llevada a cabo por uno de nosotros en 1548 Cuando por fin encontró la criatura en España ¿Recordáis cómo cada una de las exquisitamente elegidas palabras De este vampiro hacían latir nuestros corazones Cada vez que las leíamos? Cómo constituían esas extraordinarias ventanas a un pasado que tan solo vislumbrábamos fugazmente. Bien, pues Titus Flavius, Josephus ya no está. Los cazadores del Vaticano lo destruyeron hace varias semanas y con él se han desvanecido tesoros valiosos de conocimiento sobre los pilares de nuestra civilización. Probablemente se trate de un crimen tan desgarrador como el asesinato de una vida inocente por un vampiro. Por eso precisamente el camino de la guardia de Priwen es tan criminal como estéril, pues por cada una de sus exitosas cazarías metódicas, metódicas de los antiguos vampiros de Inglaterra, en lugar de aproximarse a ellos con cuidado de respeto, destruyen una parte de nuestras raíces comunes a las de los inmortales. Les aprovechan oportunidad tras oportunidad. El concepto de la gran cacería es un crimen, pues ciegamente destruye palabras y pensamientos. De Bebiendo de la fuente de saber, de Asher Tautry, primado de Saint Paul. <coughs> Hostia, 60 pavos en Xbox. Hostias. ¿Qué dices? Qué caro. Uh, yo lo he visto rebajado en Instant Gaming para PC, pero no sé. Uh, eh, ¿Cuánto estaba? Un treinta y pico, cuarenta. Eh, pero he visto otro también que va a salir. Que estaba en el Game Pass. ¿No era ese? Que estaba en el Game Pass. It's locked, all right. Este creo que tenía una misión. Jonathan Reed. Last. ¿Cuándo trae más ese banco? The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. 
Usher Tall Tree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it. Vale, este es el jefazo de las tolas de San Juan. Yes, they tell me everything. Sí, muy caro para ese tipo de juego. Pero yo en Steam creo que está más barato, ¿eh? Be wary, Ekon. I've heard such a rich diet can be bad for the heart. No sé. Hable bien sobre el barrio. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. Es que mirando he visto que no sé qué juego salía en el Game Pass. Ah, sí, el Sniper Elite, ¿no? Que estaba ya la precarga, que eran 80 gigas, algo así, en la Xbox. Las cartas le hablaron de Mary. El Sniper Elite 5 está. En el Game Pass. Que yo no lo tengo en el Game Pass, pero bueno, me puedo pillar un mes y jugarlo. Adivine mi futuro, pues. Sí, queda nada, una semana. Me gustan mucho los Sniper Elite. Bueno, en realidad solo juego el 3 y el 4, pero eh, me gustan. El 1, el 2 lo probé, lo iba a probar y tal, y el 1 no lo iba a probar nunca. Bueno, y he probado los eh, de zombies y tal. ¿Qué está haciendo aquí? Tell me about yourself. What do you do here besides turning cards? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's stole. Algunos creen que usted es un vampiro. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva como primado? Vale, algunos creen que usted es un vampiro. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? Guard of Prewen, who else? For a time they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? La caja de Pandora, la visión. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. Oye, vosotros, eh... a ver, sois más partidarios de en las sillas estas, bueno, tanto de escritorio. La mía está en el gaming, pero es de escritorio. O las gaming, que yo he tenido gaming, vale. Eh, ¿Soy más partidario de... ¿De los reposabrazos o no? Es que estoy por quitárselos, tío Siempre estoy, estoy incómodo con ellos tío. Claro, porque para, para... O sea, para cuando usas teclado y ratón, vale Pero cuando estás jugando con mando Es incomodísimo Porque a lo mejor no puedes poner, Tienes que poner los codos aquí encima así O así O quieres ponerlos entre medio Ahí, y no puedes no sé, ¿qué opináis vosotros y vosotras de de los reposabrazos, tío? Las sillas estas, tío. Yo creo que son un coñazo, ¿verdad? Estoy por quitárselos. Ya, se lo quito y ya está. Lo de tornillo ya tomas por culo. Y se queda por la silla normal. ¿Me importaría echarme las cartas? ¡Hostias! ¿Ha dicho eso? Ahí tengo pasta. Venga. Mirrors Mirrors on every wall to see her own reflection constantly. Carol Price, nueva pista disponible. No sé ni quién es. Ni Carol en Price, tampoco sé quién es. ¿Y por tener echarme las cartas? Venga, ver, con esto conseguimos pista. Muchísimas gracias por ese pedazo de follow. Bienvenido, bienvenida a Ezbacan. Meca, Meca. Meca, ole. Ahí que usando el Meca del grande Samu. 
Eh, si no eres ponerte muy recostado a lo cómodo, quítalos porque incomodan. Pero si te gusta apoyarte bien la espalda hacia atrás, funcionan. No, pero a ver, mira. Atrás, ya está. Y estoy más a gusto que todo. No hace falta que esté así cogiéndome. ¿Sabes? No los quiero. Es que la verdad es que yo no los uso. Porque esto en teoría es para darle un poco para arriba y tal. Por si te pones aquí en, el, en la mesa para coger el ratón. Pues. Eh, o sea, más pegado al borde. Pero en realidad, yo cuando juego con teclado lo que hago es tirarme para adelante a tope y me apoyo en la misma mesa. ¿Sabéis lo que quiero decir? No sé. Por eso digo que los, no los veo necesarios. Pero bueno, estos tienen para hacerse para adelante, para atrás y para arriba y para abajo. Y los otros que tenían, tenían para adelante, para atrás, para arriba, para abajo, para la izquierda y para la derecha. Los de la otra, la tengo ahí en el balcón. La Drift 300 esa. Ah, pero puedo pagar otra vez. Vale. Nueva pista disponible. Can you read the card? Put the money on the table. Here is the hunter. A good heart in disguise. El cazador. Bueno, ya me he gastado la pasta en pistas. Así no tengo que buscarlas. <risa> A ver. Mira, este, el Throcon Morton. Throcon Morton. Pero ese no es de. A ver, no saber cuándo. De otro lado, ¿no? ¿O qué? A ver, este me acaba de sacar una pista. Y el Throcon Morton. Si el Throcon Morton está muerto. ¿No? A ver, ¿era este? ¿Uno de estos? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está el Throcon Morton esa gente? Es este, ¿no? Está muerto, coño. Y para que quiero la pista de ese. Bueno, venga, voy a hacerle una más, que tengo pasta. A ver qué me dice. Venus Crossley. Vale, está así. Mira, ah, hostia, pero te las da gratis. Es que esta se saca con una investigación, ¿eh? Venus está envenenando deliberadamente a su esposo. En la investigación la, la, la pillas envenenando la comida. Bueno, oh, te salta la investigación. Tampoco es algo que... Oye. Dame, dame, dame. <risa> toma, toma. Ay, ¿ya está? Ah, ya está, ya está. No tienen más pistas. Vale, ¿conoce a Aloysius? Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been hmm. quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Vale, mira una pistita. Preguntas personales. Vale, ¿cómo puedes saber la sangre que hay en mis manos? How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? Vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. Mm, habla, habla. All right. Let me hear it. You'll cast your heart into the fire without hesitation, Jonathan. For pain is only for the mortals. I would rather not know. How do you... I told you. Is it... Vampire... Vale. ¿Cómo supo lo de Mary? How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth now. Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Hmm. 
No merecía un destino así. Mary no merecía su fate. Ya había sufrido demasiado durante su vida. Y la el dolor la simple La May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. A ver, sobre Priwen. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Priwen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them. The wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Vale. Falta una vista. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. The red river, a song in the dark, the whispers of a sun, so many signs to interpret. en algún orden no sé. entra en la masión de avisión espérate, tengo que poner Otro cuaderno que los agentes de Priwen le robaron a Usher Toltry. Eh, el mapa, hostia. Pues está por aquí. I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Eh... Trabajo para el Club Ascalon. I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club. You should have said so, sir. Pero tenemos un permiso. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. Vale. Subida al Andres. Hable sobre el barrio. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. 
what killer? I'm not going to discuss that with the civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Okay, that I've been here. We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. ¿Qué está haciendo aquí realmente? What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. ¿Trabaja solo? Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, mm. and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. So la situación en el East End. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. ¿Por qué investiga de noche? Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Quiero denunciar a Jeffrey McCallum. Ah, este no le importa una mierda. No, I've noticed nothing. All right, but keep your eyes open, though. Preguntas personales. Hábleme sobre ese manía homicida. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. My theory is correct. Maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Vale, sobre su investigación. What are you investigating, exactly? Well, my two missing persons cases have been solved by you, it seems. Are you just that lucky? Or do you know something I don't? I was lucky enough to find them both while conducting my investigation in this part of town. Why do I still have the feeling that you're hiding something? What about the abductor? Was it the same person? I don't think so. You had better interview Miss Teasdale and Mr. Kimura on that matter. All I did was to lead them safely home. Vale. What are you inventing? Well, my I would. What? I don't. Vale. Do you know anything in particular <coughs> about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it with just one phone call. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Doctor, do you need me? I'm afraid. You'll quickly thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, those. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Hmm. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, 
Be my guest. Do you like this city? Mm -hmm. I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. I can say, Rika. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. I can say, Rika, antes. But what were you doing before? took this decision. Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Quiere dejar la ciudad? Tell me more about why you want to leave London. Then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Oh, sorry. I can who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. <coughs> I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. Vale, pues. Hacemos todo, ¿no? Sí. Bueno, falta esta señora. Creo que es. Que no la conozco todavía, pero me salió por una pista. Me parece. Ahí está, todos. Este está bien, ¿no? Este está sano. ¿vale? Goodbye. A ver el hermano. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are. Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Mm, vale. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother. In... Just asking the baggy. Ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night. I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. Vale, háblame, háblame sobre el barrio. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? Eh, yo sí, hombre. I still enjoy living in London. Nah. No me chupa sangre. Ahí. Then I am sincerely happy for you. <risa> Nos divertimos mucho. Como vampiro. ¿Por qué no se ha marchado aún? May I ask why you've not gone already if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's proud of Mm. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Vale. Pista es de los dos. ¿A quién espera exactamente? Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the 
more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? Sort of trap. Trap. And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Vale, estaría esto. Esto está, vale, guay. Este tiene, está sano. Ok. Goodbye for now. Esto sabrá que hacer algo. Bueno, aquí este le puede sacar alguna cosa más, pero. Hábleme de la discusión con su hermano. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. Ambos encuentran la misma dificultad para explicarse. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? Hábleme de su hermano. What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it. That's all you can tell me about him. For the time being, true kindness <laughs> is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Vale. Goodbye. Ya está, no. Con este no saca nada nuevo. ¿no? Hello again. No. Goodbye. Vale, pues habrá que investigarlos, a ver qué hacen. Ya se levantarán de ahí, ¿no? Vale, las dos hermanas estas que tenían una tienda, ¿dónde están, tío? Para bajar otra vez. Estaba por esta zona de aquí. Eh, se están moviendo. Mira, Carol Price. ¿Dónde estás, amiga? Vale, esta es la tienda. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Doctor Reed. I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Mm, what can you tell me about yourself? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is since the quarantine we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Tanto he cambiado? Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war. And the night shifts since my return. Entre otras cosas. Don't you think you're still handsome? Just maybe a little bit wiser. More serious. Uy, cómo le está tirando la caña. La señorita Price, hábleme de usted. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé. I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Entonces la otra será la hija, ¿no? Vale. Esta está enferma, sí. Te voy a dar un remedio. Y seguimos. Eh, esto ya lo hemos dicho, ¿no? Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up. Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Okay. Aloysius. Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. 
He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Hay una pista más para él. A ver, ¿le hace daño a Caron? Tell me, Carolyn, do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family. Claro, es que esta hemos sacado una pista de por hacer. Entonces no sé ni de, que lo, ni de lo que estamos hablando. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. Sobre la salud de su hija. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now, but she'll always remain my sweet baby. So you're less afraid. Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Vale, su inocencia la ponía en peligro. Why would her innocence? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. Está bien ser precavida. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price, especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Doctor Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. El nuevo, el nuevo de vampiros sale en Epic a 60 pavos. Pero es el que digo yo. A ver qué vendes, amiga. Remache me faltaba, me acuerdo yo. La quinina está. Esto para las armas. Esto también, venga. El opio también estaba caro, ¿eh? Estaba por abajo. ¿Dónde está esta señora? Por aquí. ¿Esto dónde me lleva? Alcantarillas del temple. Sí, pero entonces aquí no es. No, no, no. Está por otro lado. 26, ¿ves? Sabía yo que estaba barato, lo había visto barato. En Eneva 26 pavos. Ah, 26 pavos. Oye, más de la mitad. Está metida la tía esta. Está aquí en el piso de abajo, ¿no? O algo. Que yo aquí no puedo entrar. Hmm. 
A ver cómo entramos, tío. Como entramos para ver a la señorita Carol, está. Ahora está arriba, gente. ¿Dónde está? Ah, mira, está aquí. Ah, vale, que ha subido ella. Vale. Claro, todavía no podemos entrar ahí. A ver, ¿puedo hablar contigo? Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown up. Vale. Tu vida en Londres. Despierta de noche. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy. But I'm a grown up now. Tu madre debe de estar orgullosa. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Trabajo difícil? Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. Vale, pista. Hábleme sobre el barrio. Can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. Vale, hábleme sobre la epidemia. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. No tienes amigos? Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicut used to Hostia, pass by. Hostia, el poeta. Nice Does he not come by anymore? No, yeah. no creo. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this Camellia may be. Pobre Camellia. Camelia no la conseguimos sentenciar porque murió, murió ya de... Por... Por la masacre que hicimos, vaya. ¿Te gustaría trabajar con tu madre? Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh, yes, doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together. And she has always watched over me. ¿Recuerdas a tu padre? Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Yo soy tu padre. ¿Te has planteado casarte? Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Vale, ¿es cierto que sueles hacerte daño a ti misma? Is it true you often hurt yourself, Carol? Yes, it's true. I try to behave, I really do. But one way or another I always end up injured or wounded. I'm so stupid. Why would you be stupid? It's like I can't help getting under my mother's feet. That's how I end up being pushed, or cut or, or burned. You see, I'm a stupid girl, really. No, when exactly eres torpe, <laughs> estupida, ¿no, coño? Ever since I was little. That's why I need to stay with mum. I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Mm. Vale, ya estarían todas. Lo de Aloysius. The famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Vale. Esa también está agotada. Do you need my... Oh, Thank you. Vale. Goodbye. Good evening. Good Good morning. Good evening. 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 Good
She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end. For they know no one else will love them as much. Abusa de su hija. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? This is nonsense. It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Seen what? Child abuse? Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated my whole life to my precious Carol. She is a part of me. Yes. Even her name is just a part of yours. This is a terrible tragedy. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How dare you say something like that? What kind of a monster do you think I am? Debemos hablar de su salud mental. Y luego le chupo la sangre. How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I, I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is a person? Not a toy. Not a doll. The poor girl would put her hand in a flame to please you. Hmm. You are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. ¿Qué dice, loca? <risa> este también es una víctima. Es una amenaza para Carol. Acabará matando a su hija. Usted también es una víctima. Bueno, o sea, a ver, que no se me enfade del todo. I'm just trying to explain that you need medical help. You will not separate me from my flesh and blood, Dr. Reed. We'd rather die. Vale. Esta ya está. Esta para sentencia, gente. 3000. Que me llevo para la saca. Vale. Esto es bueno que te la puedes llevar ya a la saca sin necesidad de. de esperar a que se cure. Vale. La experiencia es la misma. Ahora vamos a hablar con la niña. A ver. Esta. Tu madre es una amenaza. Niña. Huye. Huye. My mom loves me so much. Yes, Carol. Your mother believes she loves you as much as you're convinced she loves you. But you are both trapped in a claro. toxic relationship that puts you in danger. What are you saying? Ella hace adrede que se tropiece o se queme y todo eso para que ella se crea que es una inútil y que tiene que estar pendiente de dependiente de su madre. Tu madre no te considera una persona. Tu madre está muy enferma. Tu madre acabará matándote. Tu madre no te considera una persona. Está muy enferma, hijo. Tu madre está terriblemente enferma, Carol. Ella sufre de una de las actitudes más sadísticas que he encontrado. Y te tortura con un sentido de amor twisto. No. Mi madre me ama y solo quiere lo mejor para mí. Es mi culpa si no puedo hacer nada bien. Ella merecía una mujer mejor que yo. No sé qué hacer con ellas, gente. Eh, ya está. Eh, no sé si llevármela ya o. Al otro barrio. Esta misión es de. Ah, esta es la de Use. Eh... Esta no, no es donde está, tío. Luis Disney, ¿dónde estaba esta, tío? Esto es 
Esto habrá que investigarlos. Algo de otra mano. Y esto no sale está, tío. Que el Kimura te ha dado tampoco. Oye, es que con este tampoco he hablado, eh. Este está aquí, pero yo no hablo con él. A ver, espérate. Vale. Esto le falta. Ah, tiene que hacerlo de la investigación. Bueno, pero ya le saco una pista. Lo del envenenamiento. Ahí está, ya está. A ver, todos estos, todos estos están en mi nivel. Menos este. Y este. A este tampoco. Aquí podemos esperar un poco antes de empezar a liarla. Solo me he cargado dos. He cargado a nuestro mayordomo y ya está. Estaban solitarias por ahí. ¿vale? No quiero cargarme mucho, no sea que luego se líe. Es que prefiero tenerlo todo. Antes... Es que lo que pasa es que me están diciendo ya que. Que está a lo mejor lo, lo sentenciamos. ¿eh? No sé lo que vamos a hacer con él. Vale. que hablar con ellos para que se muevan y esto dónde están ahora tío ah mira 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 ole lo he pillado lo he pillado y el otro el otro está aquí Está fácil. Tiene sitio correcto. We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anyway. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are Life alive. is strange, my girl. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Bye. Este tiene que tener algo turbio también, ¿no? Good evening. Hmm. Vale, a ver. Sus extraños sentimientos hacia la ciudad. Tell me more about your strange feelings towards the city. I would be happy to describe them, but it's too hard to explain with mere words what I'm feeling. It's unclear, too confused. Go on, please. Where should I start? The world is chaos. Men go mad and nature itself runs roughshod over us all. This is not the first time mankind has faced a deadly epidemic or a war. Men kill each other while nature decides to kill them all. I don't know what scares me the most. Do you? La locura del hombre, ambos dan miedo. La ira de la naturaleza. La locura del hombre. Plagues and epidemics can be seen as an implacable force, a curse even. But the ferocity of mankind worries me more, for we choose what we do. Yes, at least nature is not aware of all the suffering she brings to us. At least that's what I am hoping. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva esperando? How long have you been waiting for this man? Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps it is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you, waiting here. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. Es un hombre peculiar, señor Baker. Mr. Baker, I have met many strange people during my life, but you are definitely one of 
the strangest. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? ¿Por qué sigue esperando entonces? Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? ¿Qué va a hacer ahora? Pericles, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? And where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling to be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. Vale, este ya lo tenemos. El cazado. Goodbye. Ya falta el hermano. ¿Dónde está el hermano? Vale. Hello again. Vamos a ver. ¿A qué tiene miedo realmente? Gente, me lo voy a ir cepillando ya. Que pase lo que tenga que pasar. Ya estoy hasta los huevos. No van a empezar a luego a volver aquí y tal, no sé qué. Nada, nada. Que se quede aquí solo el colega, el, el investigador privado ese de Scotland Yard. ¿A dónde tiene pensado ir? A place where I can smile because I know the next day will be better than the previous one. Such a place doesn't exist. There are never any guarantees that tomorrow will be a better day. That would mean I have no hope left, and I just can't accept such a conclusion. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas esperando? Tell me, <coughs> how long have you been waiting here? I can't say for sure, since I have no watch. But the night is still young, and I am not tired. Is that the most honest answer you can give me? Yes, I think so. Why does it irritate you, sir? Is comprehension really that important to you? Hago todo lo posible por comprender las cosas. I'm a scientist. I try my best to understand things. I know the world has to obey unbreakable rules. You know, or you want the world to obey such rules. No entiendo quién es usted. I know one thing. I do not understand who you are. And it's better that way. What kind of life would we live if we could summarize a person in a few words or a few lines? Vale. Ah, he hecho de todas? ¿Está ya? Sí, también está, sí. Pues gente, yo me lo llevo ya. A esto se habla de la tienda y a... Ya, paso, gente. Venga, vámonos. Yo te voy a llevar a un sitio único. No tengo miedo. Si voy a tener que llevar a Cuenca, vamos. makes no sense, no sense at all. I should have told my brother to go sooner. Tenía pocas cositas, eh. Empieza la fiesta raca.
in the end, was it you we were waiting for? Sí. Death was our destination. <laughs> Te gusta manipular, señor. Ay. Vampiro sanguinario. Y este no muere porque es nivel 5, si no. Luego vendrá por ti, amigo. Este tiene que tener una pista de algo. Tío. ¿Para dónde estaban las señoras? ¿La tienda? Ahí, ¿no? Joder, la hija se ha ido para abajo. Good evening, Miss Price. You... Esta está ya, ¿por qué tiene tanta mierda aquí? A ver, la misión es... ¿Quién me la ha mandado? Este, vale, pues esta no me importa un pepino. La meditación es muy chula, sí. No puedo sentenciarla aquí, tío, en su casa. No, no jodas, te la tengo que llevar fuera, tío. Uf. Bueno, mientras hacemos tiempo para que la hija... Suba. Esta por lo menos sí que me dará la llave, ¿no? Para entrar. Ahí a su casa. Ah, que sigue cerrada. Vale, tengo que esperar a la niña. Para que salga. Jeje. 300 chorines. Niña, sube la escalera ya, eh. Venga. Que te encontró un marido, ven. A ver, no puedo hacer nada, tengo que esperar. Antes me he ido para acá y luego para allá. No sé. Hola, esas vocecitas. What the fuck? Carol. O subes o me cago en todo. Ahora a ver por qué no sube la niña. Mueve. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Limpiando? ¿Qué cojones haces? Quiere, tío. Vale, por cierto, ¿dónde está la misión principal? Estaba por aquí, ¿no? Pero he perdido el rastro. No me sale. se mueve la tía no voy a entrar a esa cantera si salgo gente
Hola, sombras, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Muy buenas. Buenas tardes. Vale, a ver si conseguimos que esta señora... ¿Ha subido? Ha subido, ¿no? Está aquí arriba ya, ¿no? Vale. Venga, señorita. ¿Tu madre qué? ¿Qué pasa a tu madre? Ven, que te vas a reír con ella. Y es para mí. Ole. Pues si aquí abajo hay cosas Mira Ole. Vale, pues A lo mejor tendremos que haber hecho una misión ¿no? Pues no puedo entrar El próximo eres tú, mamón Este tío lo sigo, lo sigo, pero no, no, no sale ninguna investigación. Vale, a ver, eh, estos tampoco han dado su llave para entrar aquí. ¿no? Aquí hay un escondite, tú. ¿Está descubierto? No Voy a cambiarme los poderes estos de aquí a ver, Este no, pero este sí Vamos a coger Alguno nuevo, ¿no? Este, barrera de sangre lo hemos puesto a nivel 3 Ah, no, este es el que tengo yo ya, ¿no? Sí, vale, no, estoy jico ya Eh, autofagia, desgarro La niebla sombría Bueno, por probar Algunas cosillas y tal ¿Dónde está la mansión del tío este? ¿Eh? 
¿Qué es esto? ¿Dónde estoy? Puede ser, ¿no? Sí, podría ser, sí. Podría ser perfectamente. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains: Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? La fuente de la vida. Pedazo casado. No me acordaba yo que fuese tan grande. de periódico. Ejecución de John Francis Sparrow. John Francis Sparrow, 21 años, ha sido colgado esta mañana en la prisión de Pentonville. El señor Sparrow fue condenado a muerte tras haber sido declarado culpable del asesinato de su hermana, Alexandra Sparrow. Hasta, la, hasta el final insistió en su inocencia. En ningún momento se aportaron pruebas formales ante el tribunal que indicaran la presencia del acusado en de la escena del crimen. Pero aún así fue condenado y ejecutado. Eh, Scotland Yard se opuso a la reapertura del caso a pesar de los muchos vacíos en la cadena de sucesos que desembocaron en la muerte de la señorita Sparrow. Charles Albright, detective Scotland Yard, responsable de la investigación, se negó a, re a responder a ninguna pregunta, pero hace tres semanas fue degradado sin ninguna explicación oficial. Una forma muy curiosa de premiar una investigación competente. Clayton Darby. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. Ah, vale. Mira, la pista que necesitamos del tonto este. Pasa que está en nivel 5. No me lo puedo llevar. A ver. Ya tenemos la, una pistita. Hostia, que era aquí. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. 
Podemos tomarnos unos minutos. Confía en mí. Yo soy el vampiro aquí. Confía en mí. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my God, man! Stop your whining. I don't have time for your pointless gibber Vaya, 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 ¿cómo está el tío? A ver, de estúpido. Sobre convertirse en mi progenia, a ver. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Sobre alimentarse de sangre. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Hmm. So la guarda de Priwen. What do you know about the guard of Priwen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Prosigamos. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Eh, ¿Quién le ha otorgado el derecho a decidir? Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money, my money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, doctor. Ah, por eso no dijo Lady Asbury que no sería buena idea. Used to tough decisions. Sobre el muro. You really plan to build Esto ya se lo preguntamos, ¿no? Across Sobre el muro. Yes, it will be tall and Cuando estuvimos ahí en la reunión. Crearía dos prisiones separadas. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Aislar a los ricos de los pobres. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, doctor, no matter the cost. Vale, un muro para frenar la epidemia. Quarantine is not a bad idea medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. La infección podría propagarse, claro. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier will be mierda, enough to lo que hay al otro lado del muro. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Crear una trampa gigante. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. Bueno, he ido suficiente. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. Aquí tenemos que tomar una decisión, eh. At last. All right. Voy a ver si recuerdo lo que hice, pero no estoy muy seguro. En la primera partida. Cautivar, olvídese de su miedo a la muerte. Convertir, sacrificar a todos mis experiencia durante el proceso. Lo convertiré en vampiro. Va, lo cautivamos, gente. Es que creo que no puedo, ¿no? O sí. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death no of your brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me Creo my que, es que no tenemos el poder de cautivar. A lo mejor por eso. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. 
I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Hala. Muerto. <laughs> Nivel de Cotibar, toma. Informa Lord Redgrave. It's locked. Ah, no, no, está vivo, está vivo, está vivo. Vale, vale, vale. Pensaba que la había palmado. Está sano. O sea que se ha quedado durmiendo. Vale, vale, vale. Vamos a ver qué me quedaba por explorar arriba también. Uy, cuánta caja fuerte tiene este hombre. Tienes que haber matado. <risa> Maldita. It's locked. ¿Otra? ¿Cuántas cajas fuertes tiene este hombre? ¿O cómo? Hostia, ¿esto qué? Vale, ah, no, que aquí esta es la parte que no había visto yo antes, ¿no? ¿O qué? Yo qué sé. Sí, ¿no? Es que se sube por otro lado, creo. Esto ya lo hemos visto. Bueno. Esto es lo que no he visto es la parte de abajo del todo. Aquí, al fondo, ¿no? Esto es lo que me faltaba. Ok. O oh, no. Ah, no, lo hemos visto aquí, coño. Vale, vale, bueno, ya está. ¿La salida dónde estaba? ¿Debajo o arriba? Debajo, ¿no? Déjale. Hasta aquí este. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there. And make him the powerful icon he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. Hala, ya no tengo que ganar un enemigo. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. El que hierro mata, hierro muere. Hala. Vamos a cabreado, eh. Yo la otra vez creo que lo. Lo maté directamente, me parece. No estoy seguro. La verdad es que no me acuerdo. La verdad es que no me acuerdo, tío. Coño, ¿qué hace esta aquí? Está la de los Skulls. La Bridget, Bridget o no sé qué. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. Bridget. What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. 
Nadie la ha visto. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. Vale, ¿cómo la conoció? How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers, just as you did. Vale, ¿qué tipo de respuestas? What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise. Tenemos que haber esperado, tío, un poquito, hacer la misión principal y hubiésemos tenido el nivel de cautivar cinco, tío. Lady Ashbury en las alcantarillas. Y si hubiésemos llevado aquí un cien mil experiencia más en en WhatsApp. She said she was your friend and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Dígame qué está pasando. Lady Ashbury, you know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me, but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then. How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Primero quiero hacer unas preguntas. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. ¿Dónde está Lady Ashbury? Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. ¿Conoce a Lord Redgrave? Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. ¿Cómo la encontró, How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. ¿Qué piensa de ella? What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. ¿Por qué acudir a usted? Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Dígale que la quiero. Dígale que tenemos que hablar. Dígale que estoy preocupado. Que la quiero. Yes. El amor por encima de todo. Her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Vale. Dirigida al hospital Pembroke. Vale. Aquí tenía que resolver yo algunos asuntos antes de irme. A ver. Eh, este por aquí me voy a Whitechapel. La caja de Pandora está en Whitechapel, tío. Bueno, la parte está de Wesen con Whitechapel. A ver, pero ¿cómo llevo yo? Por aquí, a ver.
Vale, aquí estaba este. Es cierto que lo degradaron de rango. Es cierto que lo degradaron de rango. Sí, es cierto. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. La pena de muerte es una vergüenza. La pena de muerte resulta adecuada. La pena de muerte no es eficiente. Es una vergüenza. The death penalty is a great shame. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Vale, no creen la pena de muerte. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life, not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. Vale, ya está todo hecho. Well, my two. I would. I don't. Hola, amigo, vámonos. de Charles. Cuidado, eh. Cuidado con la porra de Charles. A ver, pedazo de porra tú, ¿no? La porra de Charles. ¿Dónde está la porra? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ah, a lo mejor es que es que tiene que ser... Tengo aquí, ¿o, no sé? o no la ha cargado todavía, ¿verdad? No sé si me pasó también en mi primera partida que no... Las armas a veces que no las cargaba bien o algo. Aquí, sí está, sí. Ah, claro, pues si la, le dijo desde aquí no sale. Anda, coño. Ah, que es de aturdimiento, por eso no me salía. Cojones. 40 aturdimiento ya, esto, eh. Bueno, energía 40. Nosotros tenemos. A ver, subido, ¿cuál? Este, ¿no? A nivel 5, 41 de, de aturdimiento. Claro, que está de nivel 5 ya. Pues está. Gasta mucho menos. Bueno, pero la otra la podremos mejorar, claro. ¿Es por aquí abajo? Sí, por aquí abajo, mejor. No me la voy a ir dejando, que no quiero que sean dos horas de vídeo para YouTube, ¿vale? Vale, yo lo que quería era acercarme aquí, en medio. A ver, Lady Asbury está aquí. Ah, estará en su casa. Podemos pasar por su casa o algo así. Y mercader... ¿Qué mercader había aquí en medio? ¿Quién vendía cosas ahí? Bueno, tenemos que quedarnos ahí antes de irnos Porque había que resolver un par de asuntos Vale Coño Hostia, nivel 32 este, cuidado eh. A ver, que te voy a tirar esto ¿Dónde está, tío? ¿Ha muerto? Ah, claro, es el de la tienda. Sí, aquí tenemos que hablar con. Con varios. Vaya. Vale. 
Su relación con Doris Fletcher. Calhoun, tell me about your relationship with Doris Fletcher. Oh, Doris. Cold fire and burning ice trapped in a perfect body. Our passion was as intense as it was brief. What an actress. ¿Cómo la conoció? How did you meet her? On a boat to France before the war. She was thinking about a career in Paris, and I was eager to try French gastronomy. We both returned. I expect you've seen her on stage too. She really is the best actress of her generation. Such frailty and such strength at the same time. I hope she'll play again soon. She's been away for too long. Se arrepiente de algo? Susan, surprisingly sad. Have you regrets? I think of her as a divine dish. I'm glad I was able to taste it, but I regret I could only get a bite. A mystery. You really loved her. Then. She fascinated me, Doctor Reed. I can't imagine what she must have endured through her life to reach such a level of emotion and sensibility. Bye, bye, Estaria. The restaurant that I recommended. So, did you try the restaurant I recommended? Oh yes, I can't thank you enough, my dear doctor. Exquisite, but expensive. But what is money made for? Su dinero podría invertirse en algo más útil. Cerdo asqueroso. Me alegro de que le haya gustado. Cerdo asqueroso. Cerdo asqueroso. You disgusting pig. People are dying of hunger and poverty in this very city while you eat your fancy meals. Your words hurt, doctor. I thought you and I were friends. Eso exactamente. Creías que éramos amigos, pero no lo somos. Y de hecho, vamos a terminar muy mal. Ah, mira, una pista extra. Please forgive me if I've upset you. Oh, no harm done. After I die, all my fortune will go to the suffering people of the East End. Until then, I aspire to live the most pleasant life possible. Mm. Vale. Goodbye, Mr. Russ. Supone que hasta todas las pistas de este, ¿no? Sí. Vale, eh, como ha guardado, habrá guardado seguramente aquí. Voy a despedirme ya, que me queda un minuto para las dos horas. Vale. Y luego a la tarde seguimos. Con este. No sé si hacer no hit esta tarde o con lo de Resident Evil 8. Y darle nuestro primer try y tal. Aunque me gustaría entrenar algo. Algunos bosses que tenemos por ahí del, del 8 antes de comenzar la RAM. Pero bueno, podemos comenzarla. Y al mismo tiempo, como sé que me van a dar, ¿vale? Porque es un poco difícil. Pues, conforme nos den o nos pasemos, eh, usamos el mismo guardado y así ensayamos los bosses o lo que tenga, o lo que nos cueste hacer. Nada, gente, un besazo y hasta mañana. Saludos. Chao, chao.